Hey y'all, so today I am really excited. This is a video I've been meaning to make for a very long time because when I got engaged, I was looking for a video like this and only found like a few that I actually thought were helpful. I don't know how helpful I'll be, but I'm gonna try to be really helpful. But yeah, it's like the season of getting engaged or planning a wedding because summer's coming up or it's like a little bit before summer, quite a bit, I guess it's winter time. But you get what I'm saying, so you're planning for a wedding and you want to know what to get or if you just want to get some cute stuff i'll show you what i have so if you're not getting married maybe you just want to buy some cute kitchen stuff or house stuff so this is things that i love that we got and if you're trying to figure out what to register for i hope this video helps because i honestly like had an idea but i wasn't sure if you've been like living fully on your own you might have some of the stuff but if you don't i'm going to share it with you what i got so Let's start with kitchen stuff because that's my favorite and I feel like there's a lot of kitchen stuff. And I'm gonna have my registries linked below so you can have links to literally everything I'm sharing. The first big items I got from my registry and it is these Cuisine Art knives. And they are the prettiest knives. They're like, have a plastic handle so they're not wood. So I can put them in the dishwasher, which is really nice. I had wood ones before and like, you're not really supposed to do it. That's what my mom says, but you probably could have. But these are amazing. Get a good set of knives. Not all of them are in here right now, but they come with a bunch of steak knives, a bunch of other knives, a lot of knives. But anyway, I am obsessed with these. The next thing are utensils. So I really wanted gold utensils, but the gold situation is like very difficult to figure out if they're going to be good gold silverware it's called silverware but it's goldware really but anyway these are from amazon and these have been amazing we throw them in the dishwasher at first i was like i'm not gonna put them in the dishwasher but they nothing's like they haven't turned a different color or anything so these have been great for but i love them i love wood spoons i accidentally burnt yeah i burnt that one oops um yeah so having wood spoons having like rubber spoons and then i have like a metal whisk i don't have a lot of metal utensils because i find that on non-stick pans I don't really use them but I do use the wood ones as well and these are just really beautiful set out on your counter in like a utensil holder whereas these these are still pretty like they're neutral don't get me wrong but I just think that these look really nice right there which I'm like is it necessary to have this much I truly think it is next items are more utensils I got a set of these from Amazon and um, I actually got like a KitchenAid one of like a pizza cutter I got a few KitchenAid ones as well but just I got a set of these that came with a lot more but I don't want to like take everything out so these are just really pretty and I don't actually dishwash these but they're tools so I don't use them necessarily every single day so this is nice to have my favorite thing to register for was the baking stuff. I'm obsessed with it. Just for some special things on like anthropology, like special towels. And then also these um, measuring spoons are beautiful. I'm obsessed with them. I love them. I have two sets of measuring spoons, which I know it's not necessary. You don't need excess stuff, but it was nice. And then I also have these measuring cups that are from Target. This next item is something I cannot stress enough to get nice ones of pots and pans these i have them stacked but they are the most beautiful these were definitely pricey and thank you uncle david also he's my number one fan and he always watches my videos but these have been one of the most used items i mean they're pots and pans they're the brand flesher and wolf i'm not going to take too much time to figure out exactly how to say that I love the gold handle on them came with like a huge set i mean i got a full set big pots Everything's linked below, go look at it. But like big pots, non-stick pans, a small one, a big one, lids, everything. So I'm set for pans, but they all fit in one drawer. It's not like crazy. I just like when it's all matching and cohesive. Good pans are very necessary and I'm obsessed. Cast iron skillets are the best. You can do anything in them, but I mean, just a big one. My mom actually gave me her cast iron. Um, so I didn't have to put one on the registry, but if you don't have one, you definitely should get one. They're really good for pretty much everything in there. They last forever. I just love my cast iron skillet. But you also are going to want to register for like bowls and plates and all that. So I got four big pasta bowls, which I should have gotten at least six of them because we, long story short, I got the wrong bowls. 
or I didn't really realize what bowls I registered for online. Another tip, go to the stores if you can and register there because it's a lot easier. Target, obviously, I knew exactly what I was getting, but like Crate and Barrel, I did a lot of it online because I live in Montana and there's like not a lot of stores here. So anyway, great big pasta bowls. I also got like cereal bowls. You don't need that many bowls, but I do find that me and Bobby both are like very particular about what we put in each bowl, if that makes any sense. And then you're going to want to get plates. So these are two different plates. I got some little ones. These are from Crate and Barrel, just simple, plain ones. And then I really wanted some pretty ones. So these have beautiful scalloping on the side and they're big. So you can, when you have a dinner party, you have to have one of those. You can stack them and they're really beautiful. So I registered for 12 of these and then 12 of these as well. Um, because my mom told me that's the etiquette for if you have a party is to have 12 of plates and bowls and stuff. So thanks mom. I don't know if that's old fashioned. She also was like get napkins and all this stuff and I didn't do that. You should get little bowls. These are great for if you are already measuring out when you're baking. So you can put like your baking powder in here or if you just want a little snack or dipping sauce. Literally anything. Sometimes you just need a little bowl. So we love these. I have a bunch of like different sets. I register for little wood ones and then I register for like Joanna Gaines glass ones. Just small bowls and I have quite a few of them because I collect them at the thrift store too. So I love them. Another very important thing to register for, storage containers. These are from Amazon and they are glass, which I love. It's the best. I don't know why, but glass just makes it feel better to me. Is that weird? Maybe. But I got a huge set of them and it is like one of the best things that we got. Cutting boards are very important. I really love these. This is technically, I think it's a paddle board so you can use it with whatever, but it's from Target and it's beautiful. I keep it on my countertop and I love it so much. Um, obviously this could be like a charcuterie board. I can't ever say that word, but you know what I'm talking about. And it can be a cutting board. We use it as a cutting board because we don't have like parties or anything. And I love it so much. So I have like a big one and a little one. I had an old one from Ikea and it just split. So also if you just want to upgrade some things that you had before that you just want something a little bit nicer, do it. Mixing bowls. This is like, I, I got two sets of them, which honestly, when I'm making stuff, I feel like I use a lot. So I pretty much have six mixing bowls. Um, these are the hearth and hand, but these came with lids. Lids on bowls are life changing. Like if you make a big salad in this, which I typically will make my salads in like a huge bowl so I can shake it. And lids, it's amazing for leftover pasta, anything. Throw it in the bowl, mix it in there, and then put the lid on it if you don't finish it all. I hope that made sense, but lids are very important that come with bowls. So I love these, and I also have like gold ones from Target. Another thing, this is so heavy. Oh my gosh, why did I pick this up? It is a Dutch oven, and it is by the Brand Lodge, which is from Target, and it has been one of my favorite things. I keep it on my stove top because it's so heavy and you put this down, but it's great for making bread or making soup, literally anything you can put in the stove and the oven. It's awesome. I love it. It's beautiful. So I keep it on my stove. Um, and that's a really good thing to register for as well. Let me show you some appliances that I don't want to necessarily grab. I feel like a wedding registry isn't a wedding registry unless you have a KitchenAid. That's my KitchenAid. I love it. It's the best. Maybe not the most like necessary toaster to get, but this is a Smeg. It's my favorite. It's my favorite thing that I probably got. Thanks, Mags. I love it so much. It is like my favorite. Okay, this section of our kitchen is just like insane, but this is Bobby's favorite section, the coffee section. It's messy right now too, but let me just tell you, if you're a coffee lover, these are things you should have because this is what Bobby would tell you. This is a scale, so it like measures in grams, units, all that stuff. It's got a lot of coffee grounds over here. A coffee grinder, a... Espresso maker, totally not necessary, but if you make coffee, some sort of coffee thing. This is probably the thing that Bobby loves most <laughs> that we got on a registry or from our registry. It is a um, kettle, so it's great. And then canisters, also those. I will be in my like pantry section, but great canisters. A Chemex is a great idea. I have to say, register for things you love. Like back here, I, some things that weren't that necessary, but that I loved. So there's all my wooden utensils. See, it looks nice, huh? Um, these salt and pepper shakers. They're just so beautiful. Little oil bottles. I keep olive oil in there. And then this is a butter bell, which I have loved having. The thing that I recommend registering for is serving dishes. So this is just a beautiful bowl. This is hearth and hand. 
of course. But I love this. This is great. One you could use it as a fruit bowl, but also like when you're serving stuff at parties, which we haven't done yet. But one day, like when we go to like Christmas dinner at family's house and stuff, um, you know, I will bring stuff. So serving platters are great. Also like a big long serving platter, um, cake stand. At some point you will want serving stuff. So register for it now because it's really, really great to have. It's kind of hard to get in this cabinet, but these are like my cake stands, like a little casserole dish, another one, and a salad bowl. So these are like party items that are good to have. This is our very unorganized drawer, but just having a thing to organize it in is amazing. We have salad tongs, we have chip clips, drink things, bottle openers, straws. Those types of things are really great. So another thing is pots and pan organizers. Ours are dirty, they just got washed, so they're not in there. But this is a great thing to have. We have those just like freestanding, but these organizers are awesome. So baking stuff is great to have. These are KitchenAid, like rose gold, and I just got one pack of them. And yeah, I just threw them in here. We have some baking, more baking stuff. So those are great to have as well. Okay, our cups are empty right now, but we have a bunch of those big ones. And then those are the little ones that are stacked. So we got two sets and they were like, uh, I think there were 12 in each from Target. And then also like Moscow Mule cups, some wine glasses. We have like a random beer glass back there. But those are some good uh, cups to register for. This is a KitchenAid handheld mixer, which is great for like mashed potatoes for a quick little mix. Um, I love this so much. Bobby thinks that's like his favorite thing. And then a Vitamix. Obviously this is just like the um, container. I didn't want to grab it all that lazy. I just, I wanted to show you instead of just telling you. So a Vitamix is great to have. Just a blender in general, you don't need a Vitamix. As well as a food processor. We have an instant pot, a rice cooker. Um, a waffle maker, like a big waffle maker thing, but anyway, but you can flip it and like make quesadillas or grilled cheese and we use that a lot. Like I said, everything is linked below that I am suggesting to you. So go look at my registries. Also like cleaning towels and hand towels and um, oven mitts. Those are also things that I think you should register for. I have a whole drawer of hand towels. So if you want to watch my kitchen tour, I have a lot of stuff in there and showing you more in depth. But I think that is most of the things in my kitchen that I feel like I have used a ton and that are definitely necessary that you should register for. Okay, this is my pantry and I just wanna tell you what in here that I love. If you wanna have like this type of pantry, registering for those types of canisters are great. Lazy, oops, Lazy Susans are awesome. I have a few of those. But yeah, I just love jars so canisters are always a great thing as well. And like baskets, things like that for organizing are super great. So some things that could be good to register for is cleaning stuff. I got another really nice Nice mop for my friend but I just had all this stuff out and I thought that I would show you but this is a Hoover vacuum which I just bought after with gift cards a broom uh, this is like a wood floor cleaner okay we are in the bedroom right now and it's pretty dark in here but I just wanted to tell you some things I did a bedroom tour so if you want to see the whole bedroom and I think I talk more specifically about everything's from but what I think you should register for a bedspread we got ours from Target I um, registered for a duvet and a duvet cover and then also sheets, got plain white sheets, which we love. Also, I registered for these lamps from Target. I love them, got two of them, they're the best. Also, you can register for like furniture. Um, I didn't really, I think I registered for like a chair. Oh, I did register for some dining chairs and like a table. Um, our tables on our porch as well as our like dining chairs. I did register for like big pillows as well, but you can also do smaller pillows that are decorative. Register for things that you love. It doesn't all need to be like super practical things. It can be fun things that you love as well. We also did register for a bed frame. Oh, I did register for that, but we bought it after with gift cards. People are going to give you gift cards and you get discounts on your registry after your wedding's over. So if you didn't get some items, you get it like discounted. I think like 20% off on Amazon. So that's the best. Some of the things in I register for in our bathroom is a shower curtain um it's so cute and pretty it's from target it just has like some crochet detailing i love that or for like the um shower wall things that like attach to it so you can put your shampoo and conditioner in there another thing is towels I decided to register for like plain white towels they're the field crest ones at target so they're like a little bit cheaper and then i registered for anthropology towels it was a big set um so it was a set of like two big ones two like medium hand towels and then two really small 
ones and they're some of my favorite towels i love them so much um yeah they're amazing and they're just such good quality and they're anthropology target towels i got like two big ones two ones that are called like sheets because bobby is really big and so it fits him better to have like, a huge towel and then like two hand towels um and then two like washcloths so that is what I registered for, and the, I got white because I can just bleach them, which is really nice. So, ash cans, great to register for. Shower protector. <laughs> that is what I got for the bathroom. I think that, I think that's like everything. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm going to link everything down below, and like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to try to post more videos. <laughs> I say that every time. I feel like everyone says that. Oh, I'm going to post more videos, but I really am going to try um yeah but register for things that you love you don't have to just register for like the most basic things um at target if you don't want to like you can get some special things i got like an anthropology candle i registered for and i showed you a few of those like other not totally 100 percent necessary items things you love so pillows blankets um just fun things so people want to give you fun things they want to give you beautiful things i register for like baskets and just stuff so it's really fun to start your marriage off and we're so thankful for all the people that gave us these items i feel like there was a lot more that gave the best thing that you registered for down below so people can read them hope this was helpful and that y'all enjoyed this video and i will see y'all in the next one